We've both done too many interrogations to play games, Diana. Oh, so this is an interrogation. I thought it was just an unannounced office drink. Kristen Scott Thomas shines in the new Apple Plus show Slow Horses as the MI5 deputy director, proving that she has always possessed the qualities needed to portray a captivating character. Let's explore how her performance is impressing everyone right here on Screen Rant. Long before Slow Horses, Thomas made a name for herself during the 1980s and 1990s in projects such as Four Weddings and a Funeral, The English Patient, Bitter Moon, and The Horse Whisperer. She has earned notable awards during her career, such as a BAFTA and an Olivier Award. Slow Horses is Thomas's most recent television project, and Slow Horses Season 4 is set to release in 2024. Slow House is filthy. You end up at Slow House and it's a disgusting place. I mean, it's interesting you said Slow House. Kristen Scott Thomas plays a secret intelligence agent in Slow Horses, and in fact, is the second in command of the MI5. She is incredibly skilled at what she does for the security service, so much so that she now leads other agents as their boss. In the role of Diana Taverner, Thomas is a vital part of the series. This is an interesting turn for Thomas, whose last spy role was not nearly as important. In 1996's Mission Impossible, her character is killed right away, leaving a well of unmet potential that is now being used in Slow Horses. In both Slow Horses and Mission Impossible, Kristen Scott Thomas plays an agent of a top-tier security agency, but these roles are executed executed completely differently. In Slow Horses, Thomas is a pillar of MI5 in the series. As Diana Taverner, she demands respect and interacts often with Slough House's other agents. But in Mission Impossible, Thomas doesn't get that privilege. In the 1996 Tom Cruise movie, Thomas's character is killed in the very first scene. In this way, she gets no chance to prove herself or become anything more than a brief cameo in a much larger franchise. Therefore, 2022 Slow Horses is finally making up for what Mission Impossible lacked. The 1996 spy film introduced Thomas as an IMF agent but quickly killed her off. Now, almost 30 years later, Slow Horses is showing what it might have looked like if Thomas not only survived Mission Impossible, but went on to become the director of the Impossible Missions Force. Thomas may no longer be part of Mission Impossible, but Slow Horses is finally giving her the story and appreciation that a successful actress like her deserves. Slow Horses proves that Thomas can ace the spy role. And don't forget to subscribe to Screen Rant.